In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a CAPTCHA verification for people to enter your Discord server. But what does that mean? That means that people will need to prove that they're human to enter your server. That's another layer of protection for raids and stuff like that. So we're going to be using this bot called Server CAPTCHA Bot. I'm going to leave the link in the description and you can also just Google Server CAPTCHA Bot Discord and you should be able to get to this page. So let's go ahead and do the mumbo jumbo with inviting. I'm going to click invite. I'm going to select my server, hit continue. Yes, those roles are fine. Authorize. Then capture. Of course, I'm human and it has been authorized. So I'm going to close this. So that means that the body is already in my server. You can see it here. Um, with the body in our server, we need to do two things first. The first thing is create a logs channel. So we can just create it maybe like here on staff logs. I'm just going to call it capture logs. Other than the capture logs channel, we also need a verification role. So we're going to go to server settings right here and then roles and we need to create a new role. You can call it member verified, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to call it verified. This is completely up to you. I'm just going to give it some color, um, whatever. So I can save the changes. There's nothing else that I need to do. So I'm just going to close. Okay, so now that we have those two things, the CAPTCHA logs channel and the verified role. Now let's go ahead and set up the CAPTCHA bot. So we're going to go exclamation mark config. So this is basically all the steps that you need to fulfill. The first one is the verification channel, which is the one where we want the thing to take place. So we're going to do the first command. We can actually just copy it. Don't need to type it. So it's going to be exclamation config verification channel space and the name of the channel where we want it to take place. So number read this. That's the one where I want the capture to go. All right. So we've done the first one. Now the second one is user role, which is the role that we want the people to have in order to access our server. So we're going to copy this, copy and paste space and the name of the role at verified, which is this one right here. So we have exclamation mark config space user role space verified, which is the name of our role. So what this does is that anybody that passes the CAPTCHA, this bot is going to give this role to these people, right? So we're going to do that. We successfully set up the role. Now the last one is going to be the logs channel. The logs channel is like for anybody that doesn't really passes the CAPTCHA, you're going to get a copy of what they typed in. So if the code is like one, two, three, and they type in one, three, two, and then they come to you like, oh, your CAPTCHA bot is not working, but you see that they typed it incorrectly. Then you kind of like know that you just have a dumb person trying to get into your server. So you paste the command. That's a locks channel. And I'm going to type in this channel, which is the one where we created earlier. So uh, CAPTCHA logs enter. There we go. So now we have the bot set up correctly, but we still don't have the server set up correctly. Now I'm going to hide this whole server from the people that don't have a role. So I can do this in bulk. Basically, I'm going to right click on the category here and then edit category. So I'm going to go to permissions and I'm going to add the verified role that I've created earlier. Now I'm going to select the everyone role and I'm going to click on the X here where it says read text and channel, right? I'm going to save changes. Now everyone, basically people that don't have a role, they are not able to read or see the voice channels. Like it just disappears for them. But for the verified role, I want to show it. So I'm going to click on the little check mark and save changes. So that happened for all of these channels that are under the chat category. So I want to do the same thing for all the other categories. So I'm going to edit category, permissions, add the role for the everyone hide, save, for the verified, check mark, save. You see, now that they're private, they're going to show a little lock. So that's how you know you're doing it right. So let me show you what I've been doing. I was able to hide these two categories, but these other two, I still haven't hit them. So let me show you how it shows. So let's go server settings, roles, view as a role, and we're viewing as the everyone, as someone that doesn't have any roles. As you can see, the ones that we haven't hit yet are still showing. So if I go to the verified role, I'm going to view this server as someone that has the verified role. You see that the other channels show up. So that's what we've been doing. So.
So that's it, I've completely hit the server. Whoever comes in, they're only gonna see the read this channel. So I'm gonna click the verified, and if I get the verified role, then I get the whole server unlocked. So I'm going to leave a message here for the people that come in to know what they have to do. In order for you to get the capture, you're gonna get it on a DM. You need to type exclamation mark verify. So I'm just gonna let the people know that that's what they gotta do. So now that we have our message here, let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm gonna grab an invite for this server and I'm gonna try to come into the server as a newcomer. So I'm gonna type in the invite, like I just got invited to the server, blah, 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 nice. So here we go. As soon as I came into the server, I got a DM from the server capture bot. And as you can see, there's nothing showing only the read this channel and the message that I just got there. So here's the capture that I just got. I need to type in this thing in order for me to get the verified role. So you see, I'm purposely doing it wrong. So I get three attempts and then I'm, I'm going to mess it up one more time. Ba 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 ba. Right. I'm out of attempts. Three out of three. I got to request a new capture. So I'm going to go to the read this channel. I can click here or I can just go to the actual server. I'm going to type exclamation verify and this is going to send me a new capture. So this time I'm going to type it correctly. You see, you have been verified to the black house. That's the name of the server. So this bot gave me the verified role. As you can see, now I have the verified role and I can access the whole server. Now, if I go into the captcha logs, I notice that there's nothing in here. The reason for that is that I locked everyone out of this channel, including the bot itself. So in order for me to have the bot writing in this channel, I either need to give it the verified role or just allow the bot in this channel altogether. So I can just go by clicking edit channel permissions and I'm going to add the server capture role bot or the user itself. The same thing doesn't matter. So I'm going to allow this bot or this member to read messages and send messages just to make sure right so now the bot can read and write in this channel so i'm going to do it wrong again so that you can see all the locks show up here so now here in the locks you can see all the attempts so the first time it was looking for this code and i gave it this code then this and then this so like i messed it up twice and then only when i got it right then it gave me the role so sometimes you're gonna have people that are like they're just gonna mess it up and they're gonna think that the bot is flawed but here will be the proof that they are the ones who were wrong so i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to the channel have a wonderful rest of the day my friends and stay safe out there